Good luck with your exams. Good luck with your exams. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. What's up guys, Anul here. In this video, I have two full pages of vocabulary related to education. Let's get right to it. Okay, so let's start right here in the middle. My first collocation is a verb, lack. To lack education. If you lack education, that means you haven't received the necessary education. And I have two opposite adjectives here, literate and illiterate. If you're literate, that means you know how to read and write. If you're illiterate, that means you don't know how to read and write. I could also add the noun forms, literacy and illiteracy of these adjectives. Okay, more words here to the left. You receive an education, you get an education. You can also pursue your education or further your education. These are all collocations of the noun education. I completed my formal education in 2004. So I have formal education, college education or university education. People in the US usually say college and people in the UK say university. To the left, I see a collocation for college or university, get into. So you go to school, you graduate from high school and then you get into college or you get into university. So higher education refers to the education that we receive after high school. It can be bachelor's, master's, and so on. So first, you get a bachelor's degree, and then, if you want, you can get a master's degree. And later, you get a doctoral degree. Bachelor's means undergraduate. Graduate degree means a master's degree or a doctoral degree. If you're studying law, for example, you can say, I'm pursuing a law degree or a medical degree. A PhD dissertation is what you write to get a doctoral degree, to become a PhD. Next I have scholar, it's a noun. A scholar is a person who knows a lot about a subject because they've studied it in detail. So basically, when you talk about researchers or academicians, you can call them scholars. And I have major as a noun and a verb. When you talk about what you are studying at university, you can say, I'm an art major, or my major is art, or you can use it as a verb. My brother is majoring in physics. Major in physics. Up here I have more collocations. Pursue a physics degree or pursue a degree in physics. And the other words I can use are receive, earn, get, and hold. Hold means have, to have a degree. For example, I hold a degree in English language teaching. Here to the right, I'm talking about scholarships. As a college student, you can apply for a scholarship and then you can win a scholarship and you get a scholarship. For example, he won a scholarship to study at Stanford. And when you're studying at college, you can stay on campus or outside the campus. If you're staying at a dormitory on campus, that's called on-campus housing. If, however, you're staying outside of campus, that's called off-campus housing. You may see the word dormitory in different forms. You may see it in its short form as dorm, or some people call it residence hall. Some people go to boarding schools, especially in high school in Turkey, for example. If you go to a boarding school, that means you live in that school and you study there. So you are away from your family and you stay at the school while you're studying. A tuition fee is the money that you pay for college or university. Tuition means teaching, the teaching that you receive. So you have to pay a fee. Fee means money, basically. So tuition fee is the money that you pay, especially for a college or university. Here's an example. The scholarship pays the tuition fees but students still need to find money for accommodation, which means housing, meals, and books. I have more collocations down here. You can do research or experiment. You can conduct research or experiment. You can carry out research or experiment. All these verbs work. Teachers hold, run, or conduct classes, seminars, or workshops. Students, however, attend a class, a seminar, or a workshop. Also, teachers develop a curriculum or a syllabus. They design a curriculum or a syllabus. They plan a curriculum or a syllabus. Now, of course, this page wasn't enough. 
So I have another page over here. Okay, the first thing I want to show you on the second page is this little dialogue I have up top. You want to go out tonight? I can't. I have to study. A lot of students say, I have to study lesson. You don't say that in English. You just say, I have to study. So in college, you sign up for a course or a class or lesson, or you take a course, class or lesson, right? But sometimes there might be a time conflict. A time conflict is you're trying to take a class, but two or more classes are on at the same time. So you have to drop a class, right? By the way, especially in the US, people usually use the word class to mean course. For example, you pass a class, you fail a class, you pass somebody's class, you fail somebody's class. Collocations of an exam are do an exam, take an exam, and sit an exam. They all mean the same thing. I have do homework. You don't make homework, you do homework. I could also add assignment here, right? Homework assignment. Study the class material, review the class material. Class material refers to anything that you do in class with your teacher. It can be the textbook, it can be the notes that you took in class. When you go home, you review the class material or you can revise the class material. And down here I have study for an exam, prepare for an exam, revise for an exam and review for an exam. Don't forget the for. Finally, I have the principal, the school board, and chair. The principal and the school board have been discussing ways of dealing with the problem. School board refers to a bunch of people, teachers basically, who make decisions about the management of schools. He holds the chair of philosophy at Oxford. It's kind of like being a manager at a company. You're the top person. He's the chair of the philosophy department. All right, that's it. If you browse dictionaries, you will see that there are even more words and phrases that you can add to your vocabulary notebook related to education. Thank you for watching. Good luck with your exams. Take care.